the exposure triangle part two shutter speed shutter speed is probably the easiest of the three parts of the exposure triangle to understand it's literally what it sounds like when you press the button on your camera it opens the shutter that's in front of the sensor which exposes your sensor to light and the image you want to take shutter speed controls exactly how long that shutter is open for and this is useful in a couple of ways firstly the longer your shutter is open the longer your sensor is exposed to light. The lower the number, the slower the shutter speed and the brighter your exposure will be. However, there's a couple of other effects that shutter speed has. If you're holding the camera and your shutter speed is too slow, then the very small movements of your hands can be picked up. Also, if something is moving in your frame, for example, a person walking or water flowing, then if your shutter speed is slow enough, it will cause blurriness. If it's intentional, that's a good thing. But if it's unintentional, then we need to adjust the other parts of the exposure triangle to compensate. Feel free to share these videos with someone else who's getting into photography because that will help them to learn 